Stop and think your coffee, the scrolling, the constant multitasking. These aren't just habits. They are quiet killers of your cognitive power. We're not talking about obvious risks. We're talking about the comfortable things you do every single day that are actually making you slower and less intelligent. Psychology has identified four common surprising behaviors that secretly erode your IQ and memory. If you do even two of these, your brain is running in a self-sabotage mode. Today, we expose them all. Intellectual decline doesn't just happen with old age. Neuroscience confirms that your brain's capacity for learning and memory is highly plastic. It responds directly to the environment you create for it. Most people are unknowingly choosing cognitive laziness and atrophy. We're going to quickly examine four comfortable habits that are actively diminishing your mental horsepower, chipping away at your sharp mind every single day. Killer Habit 1. The Shallow Scroll, Dopamine Depletion The first killer is the constant shallow scroll on your smartphone. When you endlessly consume low-value social media content, your brain is rewarded with tiny, frequent hits of dopamine. This trains your brain to expect instant, continuous novelty without effort. The long-term effect? Your brain loses its capacity for deep work and sustained focus? When you encounter a complex problem, your brain simply says, this is too slow. I need a new notification now. You trade the ability to build meaningful neural connections for short-term, instant gratification. The second killer is multitasking as an identity, the person who constantly switches between tasks. Your brain doesn't truly multitask. It rapidly task switches. Every switch incurs a cognitive switching cost. This means you burn valuable mental energy and significantly increase the number of errors, forcing your brain to work harder just to get back on track. This constant fractional switching severely degrades your ability to organize thoughts, retain new memories, and achieve the crucial state of flow required for high-level problem solving. The third killer is the consumption-only diet, defined by passive mental input like binge watching or listening without engagement. The brain learns and grows not through input, but through output. When you consume, you use recognition. When you create, writing, debating, teaching, you force your brain to engage in retrieval, synthesis, and structuring. A passive diet starves your brain of the necessary friction required for growth. If you don't use your creative and analytical muscles, they will inevitably atrophy. Final, most dangerous killer is sleep deprivation. During deep sleep, your brain performs a crucial function called the glymphatic system cleanse. This process literally flushes out metabolic waste, including neurotoxins that interfere with memory and brain function. Without adequate sleep, these toxins build up, clouding your judgment and reducing processing speed. You are literally leaving waste in your brain, slowing down your cognitive engine. No amount of coffee can fix intelligence lost through this critical lack of cleansing. The decline of your intelligence is not a sudden collapse. It's the result of tiny, comfortable choices made every day. The good news is that cognitive decline is reversible by changing these four habits. Stop scrolling. Stop multitasking. Start creating and prioritize your sleep. The effort you put into protecting your brain today is the only guarantee of a sharp mind tomorrow.